Hello and welcome to Garage Band class for summer school. And we're going to be walking through project number one today, uh, which is to create a song using live loops. So open up that iPad and let's find the Garage Band app. Now, if you try to open Garage Band and it closes immediately, I want you to go to self service and all the apps are in alphabetical order here, but you can always just search for it. If it doesn't work for you, go to GarageBand iOS 11.4 and higher. If you're in just plain old GarageBand, your iPad has been updated enough that that does not work anymore. So uh, if you need to, pause this video, install iOS 11.4 and higher, and then come back. But if your GarageBand works right away, then let's go for it. Okay, so in GarageBand, if you've never played with this app before, you won't have anything on this screen. Um, I use GarageBand a lot, so I have quite a few songs on here. I actually just cleaned them out getting ready for class today. So uh, we will start with the plus sign up in the top right corner, and that will get you a new song. For today's project, you need to be in live loop. So right now you can see at the top that tracks is highlighted. Let's click that over to live loop. So your screen should look like this one. So again, if you see a bunch of instruments, you're on the wrong menu. Click at the top to live loops, and this is what you want to see. Now GarageBand gives you a bunch of different styles that you can explore. It does not matter to me which style you choose for your project today. So find one that sounds interesting to you or play around and see what they all sound like before you decide which one you want to use. Um, I'm in a very chill mood today. It's rainy outside, so I think I'm going to go with chill. But again, you pick the style that you want. Now GarageBand is going to provide you with a soundboard to play with. When you click on any of these squares, it will activate the square using the instrument that is all the way to the left. So I'm going to activate some squares so you can see kind of what's going to happen here. it again and it will stop. If you want to activate an entire column. Now all of the playing I just did, while it sounded really great, it was not being recorded. You always have to hit that red circle at the top to record a song. So my suggestion is to play around, see what sounds you get, practice trying to make the sound that you want for this project, and then go for record. So when I'm ready, I will hit the red record button, and that will begin my song. finished you can hit the stop sign up in the corner and that will finish up your song you can always go back and play it if you want I'll rewind to the beginning <laughs> If you're happy with what you got, uh, you can turn this project in on Google Classroom. If you don't like it, you are always welcome to delete it and start over again. You can delete by going up to the little, um, these guys up in the corner, they're kind of rectangly. Then you can always delete things from here. If you click on it, it will give you the option to delete it. But I kind of like my song. I think it turned out great. So I'm going to turn them in. So my next step, uh, either yours will have a page 
with a folded corner in the top left like mine does, or it might just say the words, my songs. Either way, it's the same thing. So if you have my songs or that page, you just click it and it will take you back to the main menu and then your song is here. Now, I would really like you to rename this before you turn it in so I know who you are and I know the name of your song or project you did. So when I tap it just once, it's going to open the project. But if you tap it and you keep your finger there and hold, then GarageBand will give you a menu. So again, we want to tap it and hold it. You can click on rename. I'm just going to say sample because this is the sample, but you go ahead and put your name there. And I'll say live loops, or if you want to give your song a name, I'm okay with that too. And then we'll click done. And then last step, DJs, is to turn this in. So we're going to get back to that menu, hold your song until the menu shows up, share is at the bottom. Now you will always be turning in your project as a song. Every single day for this class, we will be making a song. Now you have the choice to make a ringtone for your phone and things, but that is not what you will be turning in for me. I always get a song, that's right. So we're going to click on song, high quality is just fine, and then share. Now, I know this is the first day I'm giving you a lot of information. You'll be really good at this by the time class is done. The last thing to do is to select Google Classroom, which is where this is going to be turned in. Now, because this is your very first project, you might not have Google Classroom in your menu. So if you're looking here and you don't see Google Classroom, do not panic. I will show you how to get it. But if you do have Google Classroom, you can turn in that song there. It will take a second to export and it will say share to classroom and you're going to be turning this into not music wind time 1920 you might have your google classroom from last year so we're going to click on this and make sure we get in the correct class now mine looks a little different than yours because i'm the teacher but yours will say attach to assignment which is where you're going to click and then you'll look for the words live loops you click it and it's turned into me and then I can enjoy your song and I can also share your songs with the rest of your classmates. So let's go back just in case you don't have GarageBand as an option. When I shared my song, you can scroll all the way over to more dot 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 and edit. Now here you can see, I could see Google Classroom because it was toggled over you just need to make sure that Google Classroom is toggled over so you can attach your things there. You will only have to do that one time. So if you do it today, it will always be there as a choice for you for the rest of our time together. So DJs can't wait to see what you create for live loops. Have fun.